hi everybody so here i am with a new log that is a week in my life i've uh, tried to shoot whatever i do during the week uh, a very short video nothing um, elaborate in this video you can see a very easy one pan pasta recipe then we did a little bit of makeover for the kids room and uh, meal planning and failed cake attempt and many more for us sunday is the first day of the week so i thought i'll show you what i packed for the kids lunch box this is marinated chicken skewered on toothpick and shallow fried kids love this along with that i packed veg paratha which is a frozen one that i just heated then i added oats cookie which i had made for the blog which didn't turn out as how i wanted it to be but the children liked it usually we fold clothes from the entire week on saturdays my husband helps me with that but the saturday we didn't get time to fold so here i am doing it all by myself so after the boring task of folding clothes i thought i'll make a donut bread for the blog i'm sure you must have seen this uh, post but uh, unfortunately the first time i made it the cake got stuck onto the bottom of the pan and it was really not a good feeling so i thought it's okay i just cleared the space i thought i'll do this again the next day but the cake was so good it was so moist and see as you can see it was so soft it got over within 2 days though for dinner i made puri which are my kids favorite they like to have it with the usual white coconut chutney I shot this entire video with my phone so the clarity is not so great. We bought a bunk bed from IKEA for the kids during their sale time before 2 months and it was just kept in the storeroom so we thought we'll fix it but before that we wanted to uh, cover the walls with wallpaper so that's what we did on uh, Monday. This whole week the kids were sick. Back to school means frequent illness, so I was giving them ginger, honey, and turmeric mix, so that they get a little bit of relief from the throat pain and uh, cold they had. I made these uh, sikh kebab for uh, dinner. It was really yum. So next day uh, on Tuesday, that is, I again made the donut bread by being extra cautious by placing baking paper at the bottom, and it was beyond perfect. If you haven't seen this cake recipe please uh, check my previous post the one before this one I have posted this cake recipe there it's really good by this day the kids cough and cold increased so we went to the doctor's office to get them checked so on Wednesday morning I made the oats cookie again for reals and this time it turned out exactly like how I wanted it to be this is a very soft and chewy cookie For lunch I made this one pan pasta which is very easy you don't have to cook the pasta separate everything can be made in one pan so for that I marinated the chicken with the uh, kajun spice paprika salt and pepper then I shallow fried it I then took out the chicken and in the same pan, the same oil, I added the onions and I sauteed it until nicely soft and uh, translucent. Then I added the uh, garlic and again sauteed it for a minute. Then uh, next I added the uh, red capsicum, you can add green also or yellow. And I just added a lot of uh, kajun spice uh, and uh, sweet corn. then i added the fried chicken back into this pan uh, yes i added the pickled jalapeno also mix everything together and keep this mix aside in the same pan i poured uh, chicken stock and cooking cream then i added the pasta into it uh, mixed it and i added tomatoes by cooking the pasta like this the pasta itself will have a nice flavor to it I then added some uh, freshly cracked black pepper and then covered it and cooked it for some time and the pasta was done it it was so flavorful then I added all the chicken mix back into it and mixed it well the 
detailed recipe for this pasta will be given in the description box below. It's there in my blog. And then finally I poured uh, more cooking cream and mixed it all together. And that's it. You can add parsley into it too. So finally it was Thursday, it felt like a very long week. For lunch I made Nepatil with this ready made mix by Nebis Patri Puri, Nepatil Puri I think. And it turned out so good. I never make this uh, particular dish because it never turns out well for me. But with this it was so easy, you just had to mix the powder with water and flatten it and deep fry, that's all. I served the nepatil with coconut chicken which is the classic combination. The main highlight of Thursdays for us is eating takeaway food. We usually don't order much uh, from outside during the weekdays. So we really look forward to the weekends for this. We usually step out on Thursdays, but we didn't this time as the little ones were sick. On Friday, the main activity was assembling the bunk bed for the kids. This is the IKEA Kura bed. It was not at all expensive. We got it at a very good price during the IKEA sale. But the bed is very sturdy and doesn't take up much space. Fixing IKEA furniture is like a family thing for us. Everybody likes to get involved. So this is the finished look. I think it turned out really good. So Saturday we all get ready for the next week again. So first thing that I do is do my meal planning and, uh, and I plan what to post in my blog and Instagram reels and everything. I plan on this day so that I can prepare easily. Whenever I sit and do my meal planning on the table, my son joins me with his doodling book. So first I list out uh, what all uh, things I can make for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then I put each into the planner. Then I'll make a shopping list of what all I want to make these things and uh, we'll do uh, online shopping mostly for the things and we're ready for the week. Before I used to cook for the whole week and uh, store the food in the fridge and the freezer but now I just cannot do it. It's very difficult with my children, especially my little uh, one year old. Uh, so I just uh, make the ginger and garlic ready and peel the onions. And all those things I'll keep ready so that I can uh, do daily cooking easily. Since school started, the kids go to bed early like at around 8 o'clock. Then by 9 I put my toddler to sleep and then I just have to have my me time. Where I just uh, indulge in something that I really like. Over here this is the ice cream cake from my daughter's birthday and then watch my favorite Korean dramas. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I'll be posting new videos every week.